Hello everybody, Matt Steele here. I'm doing another one of my workouts based on things in my life. Doing it to body weights. Um, this one's going to be a little different. It's not all going to be epilepsy numbers. It's going to be um, some other things in my life that have been positive times that have happened um, college slash post-college. And I'll explain why I'm using this shirt and not an epilepsy shirt as we get in the workout. But, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I still, despite seizures coming back and everything in my senior year in college, I graduated LaSalle University in four years. So I'm going to do four of an exercise. We're going to do clap push-ups. Okay, so now for why the shirt is being worn. Summit is the town I grew up in, I lived in after college. And as I was there, I, um, that's when I had my brain surgery. And then as I was starting to get back into things and get more going like a regular person, I was in Summit. Um, so these next one, two, three, four, five, things that I'm going to mention are tied with my time in Summit. My brain surgery happened when I lived there um, and brain surgery 12 letters so we're doing 12 of this next exercise it's going to be sets of mountain climbers but since the following word I'm using family promise which is the first thing I did after my brain surgery was volunteer there at the one in Summit. I'm also going to do 12 again. So I'm ultimately going to go and do 24 sets of mountain climbers. Okay, there's 24 sets. Next up, we have Central Presbyterian Church, which is the church I was attending as I was in Summit, um, who helped open some doors for different things. And I also volunteered there after I helped at Family Promise. So, Central Presbyterian Church, 25 letters. We're going to do 25 sets of forward lunges.
Next up, still in the idea of Summit, is um, the Summit YMCA. After those two places, that's like the first place post brain surgery that I had a job at. So, note this is the thing of optimism. Don't give up. So, we're doing 10 Summit YMCA, 10 letters, doing 10 wide grip push ups. And next up, as I was there in Summit, I uh, started working full-time, part-time at the time, with uh, Wegmans, where I'm still employed. I'm just now in a different area. I'm in King of Prussia full-time now. But anyways, I started with them as I lived in Summit, New Jersey. So, Wegmans, seven letters. I'm going to do seven ab rollouts. So after that, I had uh, got offered a full-time job with Wegmans where I moved and I'm now independently living. So next word is independent. That is 11 letters. I'm going to do 11 Russian twists per side. So, shortly after I moved on my own, I became very involved with the Epilepsy Foundation of Eastern Pennsylvania, and I'm a volunteer for them, so EFEPA, volunteer, 14 letters, I'm going to do 14 sets of burpees.
Okay, so next up we have a 10, because the last two times I've done the National Epilepsy Walk, I've been one of the top 10 fundraisers. So we're gonna do 10 close grip push-ups. And I've mentioned how I've been involved with the Epilepsy Foundation locally. One way is for two years I've been the camp counselor. So counselor, nine letters, I'm going to do supermans, hold them for a few seconds, and down. That's one. We'll do nine of those. And next up, I have talked about a walk I've done nationally. Locally, the walk this year was very different. So it was all virtual based. I started to do things like this video here. And I got 4,100 before the day of the walk and added a little bit after that. Thank you again to everyone who helped. I'm gonna do, to show the 41, doing 41 dips. Okay, so that was the one of the two long items I'll do. Next up, we have 18, because recently I was asked to become the EFEPA's Walk Committee Chair. Walk Committee Chair, 18 letters. So I'm gonna do 18 air squats. Three more. 
So, and speaking of involvement with epilepsy, I also recently have become an awareness ambassador for the National Epilepsy Foundation. That was about August, late August. Um, awareness ambassador, 19 letters. Gonna do step ups onto where I did the dips off of. So next up, I have two more exercises. We have one called, um, I'm calling work respect. I've been asked to do ordering and um, they'll ask my advice on amounts of different things. And uh, they have me on a food safety team. So getting some added responsibility there. So it's an 11 again, 11 side twist. And now the good side with all this is I currently, despite all my involvement, the full-time job, managing the different bills and stuff, um, changing medicine dosages a little bit. I'm still seizure free, five and a half years. So instead of doing five or whatever, what I'm gonna do is do each, I'm gonna do it by months. Five times 12 is 60. Half a year as we know is six. 60 plus six is 66. So we're gonna finish it off with 66 of something. And I chose jumping jacks.
So, everyone, there you have it. Those are some things I did to reflect times in my life that have been good. That when I have, you know, down times like everyone does, I can look back on, remain optimistic of what I've done since college, where I'm at, how I haven't let epilepsy, coronavirus, or other things limit me. Um, hope everybody else has things recently they've done they can look back on. It's going to be an interesting thing to do now through the end of the year. Christmas, New Year's, they're going to feel really different. We'll all need to think of things like this. Enjoy. Have a nice day.